What is going on guys, Castor right here, and into this video we're going to talk about the Sony A6700 and the Sony A7C Mark II. The A6700 is bound to be announced in a couple of days, but in this video, I want to answer the question that I've seen here on the channel, which camera should I wait for? You know, I'm trying to upgrade, is the A6700 or the Sony A7C Mark II? So let's talk about both cameras, but we're also going to be sharing some images thanks to Sony Offer Rumors that polished these images for the A6700. And stick around, there are some exciting news. So. Let's start with the Sony A6700 and the first thing that we know that this camera is going to have or is going to be. First of all, it is said that the body is going to be slightly larger and they are comparing this body with the Sony A7C line. Now, if you see these images right here, you know, you cannot tell much about body size, but one of the things that you can tell is that now Sony has included a front dial. And this has been something that we've been wanting for so many years in these smaller bodies. Now, what I think right here is going to happen is that Sony may pull a Sony FX type of deal where the Sony A6700 and the Sony A7C Mark II may share the same body but having different sensors and some of different codecs like we have seen in the Sony FX3 and the Sony FX30. If that is the case, we could say that the Sony A7C Mark II is also gonna have that front dial and that is gonna be very much welcome. Now, when it comes to the Sony A6700 and the sensor that this camera is going to use, it is said that this camera is gonna be using the same sensor as the Sony FX30, which is a 26 megapixel sensor, backside illuminated, and I own that camera. That sensor actually has a fast uh, readout and it produces a really nice image. So 26 megapixels is going to be more than enough for photography, and it's also going to be great resolution for video, giving you a lot of detail. Now let's talk about low light performance because if you are trying to get a camera and you don't know about which one to get, the Sony A6700 or the Sony A7C Mark II, well definitely the Sony A7C Mark II is bound to have more uh, capabilities when it comes to low light. Specifically because this camera seems to have the same sensor as the Sony a7 IV, which is a 33 megapixel sensor. Even though we have more megapixel count because of the size of the sensor, you're gonna obtain better low light performance with the Sony A7C Mark II. Now, there is actually a rumor that states that Sony perhaps may introduce a new sensor in this camera, a 24 megapixel sensor. I don't know, maybe one from the Sony A92 could be. And this could also happen to protect the Sony a7 IV at a higher price ticket item and you know keep a little bit of the distance between the Sony a7 IV and the Sony a7C. Now let's talk about the Sony a6700 and some of the other features that we are going to have in this camera. If you guys remember the Sony a6600 feature the NPFZ100 battery which is the high capacity battery that Sony has in all the full frame cameras. So we're gonna have that battery as well in the Sony A6700, which is great news. Now, another piece of great news that um, we are gonna see in the Sony A6700 is going to be the high resolution screen that we have in the Sony FX30, which is 2.65 million dots of resolution, which this screen actually is gonna outperform the screen of a lot of the much more expensive cameras. Now, if that is the case, you know, most likely we may see the same screen on the Sony A7C Mark II. That's gonna be great news because that is going to be an even better screen than we have in the Sony FX3 and even on the Sony A7 IV. When it comes to video, of course, you know, if this camera is gonna be utilizing a lot of the technologies of the Sony FX30, the A6700 is gonna do 4K video up to most likely 60p 10 bit 42. That is going to be um, really much welcome, you know, in 2023. You know, people want that 10 bit uh, color and we're gonna have it in this camera. And chances are that we also gonna have it in the Sony A7C Mark II. Now, when it comes to the Sony A7C Mark II, I don't know if we're gonna have 60p, and I wanna know that, yes, we are gonna have 60p, but we have seen some of the challenges that Sony has been having with packing full frame and 4K 10-bit in this smaller body size. So there is a slight change, and this is an assumption of mine that probably the Sony A7C Mark II may do 4K video up to 30p, and maybe the 60p may be uh, a bit, or it may be limited to a small uh, recording uh, time. 
The one thing that we know is the Sony is going to be announced in this camera July 12th. And this is for the Sony a6700. And who knows, they may want to announce also the Sony a7C Mark II. That could be a surprise. And it is say the Sony may also introduce some lenses. Now, I have the feeling that Sony may also introduce a brand new APS-C zoom lens and a kit lens, you know, Sony has a 16 to 55 f 2.8, but the lens is very expensive and perhaps Sony may introduce for this camera a brand new kit lens. I don't know, 16 to 50, maybe um, 3.5 to 5.6 or something like that. Now, another thing that I want to see on both camera is the uh, shutter speed of one over 8,000 of a second with mechanical shutter, you know, expandable to 3200 plus if possible please sony give us that on this cameras because the sony a7c mark one only caps at one over four thousand of a second and it would be nice to having these two cameras one over eight thousand of a second you know being able to take this camera seriously now the next thing that we have learned is that the sony a6700 is going to have or potentially most likely it's going to have dual sd card slots and once again this is based on the rumors from sony offer rumors and this is going to be something unique for the first time for sony doing in this smaller body introducing the dual is the car slots and you know you've heard a lot of people complain that a lot of the reasons why some people don't go with a smaller camera is because of the non redundancy so this is actually a great move from Sony if they are going to move forward with that technology and like I mentioned before you know adding it on the Sony a6700 may mean that we are going to have it in the Sony a7c mark ii now i'm sure you have seen a lot of the videos that have been out there or some of the videos that we have created but the main question that i want to address today is which camera should you get if these two cameras are going to be dropping soon in 2023 specifically if you don't own any sony camera or if you you know being stuck with an a6000 camera nothing wrong with those cameras but you know now you want to upgrade for something a little bit more modern with more capabilities the answer in my opinion is going to be uh, very simple if you already own a lot of APS-C glass you know well perhaps the sony a6700 is going to be a better option for you but if you own full frame glass the sony a7c mark ii in my opinion would be the one to wait for you know we already know what the sony a7 IV is the capabilities of that camera and i'm actually filming with that camera right now and you already know the capabilities of the sony a7 IV it can do 4k video up to 60p 10 bit 4 to 2 and it can record for a long period of time yes it overheats but in normal conditions you know you're not going to have much problem so you know if you already own full frame glass i mean i will wait for that camera you're going to have better background separation with your uh, lenses you're going to get better bokeh you're going to get the full frame look that you know a lot of us love and especially if you're going to be shooting photography and video you know the sony a7c mark ii in my opinion will be a better choice because it's also going to perform better in low light so this is going to be it guys, you know, I want to continue reporting about these leaks and of course I'm going to try to get a hold of a Sony a6700 as soon as that camera is out. Hopefully uh, my Sony rep can hook me up with one for a review and I'll be doing a proper one right here in the channel. So I'll see you soon.